May bibilhin ka bang lupa, bahay o anumang real property sa Pilipinas? Or maybe ikaw yung nagbebenta o yung seller or vendor ng property? The problem is you are outside the Philippines. Paano mo gagawin yung transaction ng hindi mo kailangang umuwi ng Pilipinas? Yes, you are correct. You need to execute a special power of attorney or SPA. Whether you are the seller or the buyer in a real estate transaction, katulad ng bentahan ng lupa, kailangan nyo pong mag-execute ng SPA or Special Power of Attorney kung hindi po kayo available to personally do the transaction, especially doon sa pagpirma ng kontrata. Required po ito ng Civil Code of the Philippines. Ang kontratang pinag-uusapan po natin dito madalas ay isang deed of sale. Maaring ito ay isang deed of absolute sale, deed of conditional sale, or contract to sell. Depende po sa napag-usapan ng mga partido. But because your SPA is coming from abroad, hindi po ito ordinaryong SPA lang dahil may karagdagang requirements po ito. Let me show you an example of an SPA. Basically, it contains the personal information of the parties, the principal and the agent or representative o tinatawag ding attorney in fact. Don't get confused. Hindi po kailang lawyer ang attorney in fact. Then, the scope of the authority that is given or granted to the representative. It may be about the selling of a property in the Philippines wherein the representative is authorized to negotiate on the terms and conditions, cash ba ito or installment, the price or amount of the consideration, the authority to execute and sign the deed of sale on behalf of the seller, who is the principal, and the authority to receive the payment with specific instruction on how to proceed with the said payment. Kailangan ba itong naka-cross-check sa name ng principal? Or should it be deposited directly in the account of the principal? Dito usually nagkakaroon ng issue kung paano masisiguro na makakarating sa iyo yung payment. Well, you always have the option to fly back to the Philippines so that you can personally receive the payment and therefore there's no need for an SPA. If it is about buying a property in the Philippines, then the scope of authority of the representative would normally include the power to sign the deed of sale on behalf of the buyer to make sure that the taxes and fees are adequately covered and if the property is titled, to make sure that the title of the property is transferred in the name of the buyer. Then, of course, you need to sign the SPA as the principal. What follows is the space for the notarization. But then again, since nanggaling ang SPA na to sa ibang bansa, I am referring to the country where you are right now. Kailangan ma-authenticate ang SPA na to for it to be honored in the Philippines. Dahil kung ako yung notary public na mag-notarize nung deed of sale or kontrata ninyo, hahanapin ko po yung authentication na yun doon sa SPA. That is where the inconvenience arise for some of our kababayans abroad. There is the usual problem na malayo yung konsulado sa lugar or area kung saan sila nakatira abroad and minsan, halos walang panahon din upang asikasuhin ito. So this time, I would like to give you an idea about the options that you have to make your SPA acceptable in the Philippines. Una, as of now, dahil naging miyembro na ng Apostille Convention ang Pilipinas, we now use Apostille as a way to authenticate a document. Whether ang dokumento na ito ay galing sa Pilipinas na gagamitin sa ibang bansa, o ang dokumento na ito ay galing sa ibang bansa na gagamitin sa Pilipinas. So, what do I mean to say? Kung ikaw ay nasa state of New York at kailangan mong magpadala ng SPA sa Pilipinas, pwede kang mag-execute ng SPA and have it notarized by a lawyer in New York at ipa-apostil mo ito. Kung naka-apostil na ang SPA mo, hindi mo na kailangan ipa-consularize o ipalegalize ito sa konsulado ng Pilipinas. Pwede mo na itong ipadala sa Pilipinas. Ang bawat bansa na kasapi ng Apostille Convention po ay may kanya-kanyang polisiya sa pag-apostilize ng dokumento. Sa Pilipinas, for example, ang tanging ahensya ng gobyerno na pwedeng mag-apostilize ay ang Department of Foreign Affairs. Sa ibang bansa, katulad ng United States, bawat state ay may naka-designate kung sino-sino lang din ang pwedeng mag-apostilize ng dokumento 
usually under the office of the Secretary of State. Sa Japan, ang Ministry of Foreign Affairs ang may authority na mag-apostil ng documents. Sa Australia, it is the DFAT or the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade of the Commonwealth of Australia. Sa United Kingdom naman po, the Foreign and Commonwealth Office. Upang malaman niyo po kung saan kayo dapat magpa-apostil ng inyong dokumento sa bansa kung saan po kayo naroroon, ilalagay ko po ang link sa description ng video na to. Pangalawa, take note po na hindi lahat ng bansa ay miyembro o kasapi ng Apostille Convention katulad ng Canada. In that case, their government do not provide apostille services. What they do is that they continue to authenticate the documents through their designated offices. So what you need to do is first to have your SPA notarized by an attorney in Canada. Second, have it authenticated by a Canadian authentication office such as the official documents services. And third, you submit it for consularization or legalization sa Philippine consulate. Once it is legalized or consularized, you can send your SPA to the Philippines. Pangatlo, kung malapit lang naman po kayo sa Philippine Consulate, it is much better na doon nyo na po ipanotarize ang SPA. Fortunately, Philippine Consular Offices offer notarial services, even in countries that are members of the Apostille Convention. So, in that case, you shorten the process. Sa ilalim po ng Article 17 of the Civil Code of the Philippines, it states that the forms and solemnities of contracts, wills, and other public instruments shall be governed by the laws of the country in which they are executed. When the acts referred to are executed, before the diplomatic or consular officials of the Republic of the Philippines in a foreign country, the solemnities established by Philippine laws shall be observed in their execution. Don't worry po, I already checked the official websites of the Philippine Consulate General in Toronto, Canada, Los Angeles, California, New York, Sydney, Australia, and the Philippine embassies in London, United Kingdom, and Tokyo, Japan. Yes, they do offer notarial services for special power of attorney. And they also provide a template for a special power of attorney in their websites, which you can download and edit at your own convenience. All you need to do is to complete the information there, print it in multiple or required copies, and submit them along with the other requirements. For documents that pertain to transactions involving real property in the Philippines, they require you to present your passport for identification. I don't have to detail each step here as the requirements and procedure are in their respective websites. There you go. I hope that you have learned something from this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done it yet and hit that notification bell icon so that you will get notified of our future videos. Always remember, ignorance of the law excuses no one from compliance therewith. I will see you in my next video. Ingat po kayo.